Okay, so let's talk about uh, this example. A 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters copper slab of 6.25 mm thick has a uniform temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. Its temperature is suddenly lowered to 36 degrees Celsius. Calculate the time required for the plate to reach the temperature of 108 degrees Celsius. So take density 9000, it's given in the numerical uh, specific heat, okay, thermal conductivity and H is this. The surface area of the plate, okay, you can definitely calculate surface area of the plate, volume of the plate you can calculate but the dimensions are given to you, okay. The characteristic length, the characteristic length, uh, length as I have already told you that is volume upon the area. So this is the characteristic length, the Biot's number is the judging factor, so Biot's number has to be calculated first, so Biot's number as you all know that is HL by K, so L is the characteristic length that we have already calculated up there, so the Biot's number C, the Biot's number is 7.6 into 10 to the power minus 4 and which is far 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 less than 0 0.1, so you know when the Biot's number is lesser than 0 0.1, what you need to do, so you need to do, you need to uh, implement the Biot, uh, you need to implement the lump parameter parameter analysis for this particular question. So there is no question about that, right? So the Biot's number when it's less, uh, less than 0 0.1 is written here, hence lumped capacitance method or the Newtonian heating or cooling may be applied for the solution of the problem. So the temperature distribution, we all know, we just, we have just derived this temperature distribution, okay, so substituting the values, everything is given, everything is given, you just need to calculate the time, so just by simple mathematical calculation you can actually take out the time in seconds okay so uh, this was a generic a generic kind of numerical this kind of numerical you will actually find in your uh, question paper so it's quite simple right so you need to calculate so uh, in this kind in these series of numericals you will actually have to judge the kind of uh, the kind of formulae or the kind of uh, analysis uh, you need to judge it by the you know help of the judging factor that is the Biot's number. If the Biot's number is lesser than 0.1, lump parameter you need to remember it and if the Biot's number is greater than 0.1, I will be coming to that very soon. Okay, so let us discuss this. A solid copper sphere of 10 centimeters diameter, the density is given, the specific heat is given, the thermal conductivity is given, initially at a uniform temperature, Ti, 250 degrees Celsius, is suddenly immersed in a well stirred fluid which is maintained at uniform temperature, this. The heat transfer coefficient between the sphere and the fluid, H is given, determine the temperature, determine the temperature of copper block at tau is equal to 5 minutes after the immersion. Okay, so here the, temp the, the time is given, so uh, what they uh, what they are asking you to calculate, they are asking you to calculate the temperature. Okay, so D is given, density is given, specific heat is given, K is given, TA is given, H is given, tau is given. C, the minute has to be converted into seconds. Okay, now the temperature of the copper block T, so characteristic length you have already calculated, the Biot's number, again I am telling you, the Biot's number is the judging criteria in this. Uh, until and unless they mention that you need to deploy the formula for the uh, lump parameter. If it is not that case, then you need to implement the Biot's number. Um, you need to implement the lump parameter analysis, judging, judging it by the Biot's number. Okay, so this is the thing. Simply, you need to calculate the temperature. Everything is given to you. Okay, so let's come to now. Uh, now let's come to. Uh, this kind of numerical, this kind of analysis is a graphical analysis. So the graphical analysis uh, is when when the Biot's number is greater than 0 0.1. Please try to remember this thing. So in the x-axis it is Fourier's number. Okay, in the y-axis it is one by Biot's number, and the one by Biot's number is increasing from this end till this end from zero to hundred. And here on the y-axis, okay, the y-axis is having the the temperature profile, right? So what you need to do, suppose if you are talking about the center line temperature, so the center line temperature, you need to calculate the Fourier's number first, you need to find out the 1 by Biot's number, if suppose if the Fourier's number is here and the Biot's 1 by Biot's number is matching here, you need to draw a vertical line intersecting it and then from that intersection you draw a straight horizontal line and that straight horizontal line will actually give you theta by theta naught, that is the temperature profile. And we are talking about when it is at the center line, it is written like mid plane, when x is equal to 0, okay. But when there is a correction, means when we need to move away from the center line, then you need to use this chart. Again on the y axis, the temperature profile, it is 1 by Biot's number here and it is x by L, x is the distance which is away from the center line. So I will be 
showing you. So a 60 mm, a 60 mm thick large steel plate, a 60 mm thick large steel plate, K is equals to this, alpha, alpha is a thermal diffusivity, initially it's 44 degrees, 440 degrees Celsius, is suddenly exposed to both sides to an environment, okay, with convective heat transfer coefficient this much and temperature this much, determine the center line temperature and the temperature inside the plate 15 mm from the mid plane after 4.5 minutes, 4.3 minutes. Solution C, it is like this, the plate will be like this, I have already explained you uh, this thing in my lecture video, it's L, so L, so it is 2L, so 2L is equal to 60 mm, so L will be 30 mm, okay. So K is this much, alpha is this much, Ti is this much, H is this much, Ta is this much and the time is 4.3 minutes. Okay, so temperature at the mid plane, so the temperature at the mid plane will be, first of all you need to calculate the characteristic length, Fourier's number, alpha tau by L square, the Biot's number, see the Biot's number is 0 0.165. So this gives a clear indication that you will not deploy or you will not implement the lump parameter analysis, rather you will implement the the graphical analysis. So at Biot's number greater than 0.1, the internal temperature gradients are not small, therefore internal resistance can't be neglected, okay. So lump parameter analysis cannot be. So the Fourier's number you have already calculated, you have calculated the 1 by Biot's number at the mid plane, so here it is. So just by using that chart, I have already shown you, just by using the chart, you need to calculate this thing, substituting the values, you can actually calculate the TO temperature inside the plate. Now you need to use the second chart. The second chart gives you like X by L. So X by L is 15 and L is 30, 60 divided by 2. Okay. So you need to use the chart. You have 1 by Biot's number in the X axis and in the, uh, and the Y axis is the temperature profile. So in between you need to trace the X by L in that chart and just simply by, by drawing horizontal and vertical lines, you can actually get the temperature. Okay.